Well, I guess apologies are in order. We haven't made a video in like a month. That's not my fault, it's Julian's fault. I Blame it all on him. Don't feel like making a commentary by myself, because the last time I tried that went horribly. That's probably because you suck. It's probably because you suck. And swallow. Well. If you know what I mean. I love survival. Why are we playing survival, really? Because it's the best type. <clears throat> Your mom's the best type. Don't be about it. I will. Lucario's the best because he's like a ninja Pokemon. Anyway, we plan to make it up by like making a shitload tonight. Wait, we need we need to uh, add now my computers. Uh, because fighting you won't be fair. Uh, fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure only some of the. Uh, by the way, Brawl Disc is messed up. So. So we're gonna like play a game and then pause it and then. Yeah, essentially after I end a round, the game crashes. Oh god, Brinstar. So yeah, it's gonna like be I, a little choppy. I hate this map. Also, I, I haven't really played this game in years. Yeah, me neither. So I'm Lucario, obviously, because I'm awesome. But like, by the way, this game is the only reason to get a Wii. Yeah, pretty much. I hate this map though. I hate this map as well. It's too small. I like like it big. your penis. But like a big like high roll. That's a good map. Okay. High roll's probably my favorite. Hyrule is the best map. I'm just jamming B, is that what you're supposed to do? No, you're supposed oh. to be jamming A. Oh. Obviously. God damn it, man. I'm killing you all. By the way, I'm Sonic, he's Lucario, in case you're stupid. <laughs> okay, you were gonna tell a story. I was? Story Why time. Why don't you tell it first and I'll save the best for last? Because I haven't, um... I haven't thought of a story to make up yet. How about you just tell one? Make it the best story in the world. Like the best song in the world, but not. It's a long time ago. Me and my buddy Grant. We was hitchhiking down. A short and populated city streets. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have the last piece of the thingy. Give it to me. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Fuck I got my thing. niggers. Guess who didn't get hit? Captain Falcon. Shut up. Falcon. Punch. Punch. Seriously though, just tell your story. I'll How make about it. No. By the way, Grant's story is not made up. Mine probably will be. My story is incredibly disappointing and Uh you will you should all think less of him for it. Yeah, pretty much. He's a horrible person. I am a horrible person. Plus if any of my if any of my schoolmates see this, you know, probably shouldn't tell it, but Pretty sure they all, most of them already know. Uh, I'm pretty sure you should shut up, because probably most of them don't know. I'm pretty sure we should get on it, because we've already gone three minutes. <laughs> That's what she said. I know. Oh, yeah. God damn Fight you. Fight me about it. I would. By the way, this is the most overpowered thing in the entire game. So it essentially allows you to, like, one-hit everybody by touching them. God damn you, man. <laughs> oh, my God. You suck. I hate Fight that. Fight me one. about it. Oh, look at them cheer my name. Yes, look at them cheer my That's name. It's probably the first time any female crowd... Never mind, I was going to say something mean and didn't, it wasn't going to work out. And it didn't even make sense. Exactly, that's why it didn't work out. Okay. So one time, me and Grant, we were walking through the city streets. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, this guy comes out of nowhere. God damn it. I've, I'd never seen this guy before in my life, but he tells us to come with him anyway. We're, so we're who who is this guy? So then it turns out he owns a shop there, and it's like a completely empty shop, just an empty warehouse. So it's like, God what do you sell here? But then it turns out behind, in like in the back of the shop, there's a secret doorway that goes to the actual shop, and you will never believe what the shop sells. Triple-sided dildos with flamethrowers. What? <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did ya? What a twist! <laughs> so, long story short, um, we had a huge orgy with fire. Holy crap, that was the best story I've ever heard. I know. But let me tell you a better story. So, one day, <clears throat> I was walking down a, uh, a city street. 
<laughs> when my friend came up to me and said, yes. Hey, you should try this five hour energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> Run faster, jump higher. And I was like, man, I'm not gonna let you poison me. So I took his energy drink. And you'd never guess where, what I did with it. You drank it. I threw it into the air, and then I, I used my deductive reasoning to see how far it went and at what speed it would fall to the ground. It was about five miles per hour. Ah! Uh, at first. Oh, uh, yeah! You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, man. Fuck you. I'm and good. all your sheep. Just finish your story. Anyway, so... Actually, just start your story. You I'm, haven't even told your story. Oh, right. you're dead. Yeah, I am dead. That's why I told you to fuck you and your sheep. Anyway. <laughs> um... <coughs> So, my actual story. I was in um, Epcot this one time. Epcot? Dude, this is a better story. I was at Epcot not too long ago on a field trip with my band. And, um, so, my, pa I, my parents picked me up and I basically walked around on my own. And so, I went to Japan, of course, because, you know, hentai, need I say more. And so, oh, wait, we're going to have to continue this story. We are. Later. No, Back we are. Back we are. Um, do a special brawl or something. Wow. Oh. Do something that'll be insanely difficult. I don't like special brawl. I love special Where's brawl. Where's Ike? Oh. Prepare yourself. I'm a faggot. Fight me. Okay, anyway. You're, be, so you're being Lucario again? Fine, I'll be... I switched characters. I'll be Samus. Wait. Alright, so anyway, back to my story. So... When I went to Japan, okay. in Epcot, of course, I mean, pfft. anyway, <clears throat> I walk into their gift shop, and if you haven't been to Epcot's Japan gift shop, it's like the best thing you could possibly imagine ever. There's like Japanese katamas and like Japanese candy and Japanese everything you could imagine everywhere, and it's just like the best thing ever. And so, there... I spy with my little eye. Look like there's a triple rainbow in the background. Anyway, um, I saw a triple rainbow once. That's cool. I remember asking. <laughs> JK. Anyway, so at Epcot's Japan, I spied with my little eye what seemed to be a chopstick laying on You're the ground. You're dying. I am dying. Oh shit. Way to go. Anyway, I was busy telling my story. Shut your mouth. So I, I take up this chopstick and it has this symbol on it. It's like three lines at like a 45 degree angle. What? And like... I don't understand. God damn it. What is three lines at a 40 degree angle? That's angle? what I thought, right? And so I pick up the... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> God damn you, man. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot about Ike's final brawl thing. I forgot how it works. Me too, because I'm just fucking... Around. I mean, I remember how it works now, but I forgot temporarily, so I wasted it. Anyway, um... So I go to the cashier, who's obviously Japanese, and I ask her what the three lines at the 45 degree angle Since meant. when do you speak Japanese? Dude, she speaks a, a little English. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I went to her and started talking to her, and she said that the three lines meant that whoever found it was the winner. And I'm like, the winner of what? And she goes, you're the winner. Come with me. We'll like, go and see a place called Candy Island. Dude, if you stop interrupting me, I'd tell the story, but apparently not, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, smash ball. Your mom's a smash ball. What up? <laughs> uh, finish your story? Nope. Okay, I, I promise I won't interrupt you anymore. Okay, fine. Anyway, so... She takes me to this room in the back of the Japanese place. She says... She says, what is your name? And I say, you know, my name's John, because I didn't want to tell her my real name, because that'd just be wrong. And so, she goes, well, John, it seems you're the winner. And I go, the winner of what? So she promptly takes her shirt off and, and shows me her enormous breasts, which is just strange for a Japanese girl, Does right? your girlfriend watch this? Um, I'll explain later. Anyway. <laughs> So, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? And out of nowhere, she, she, like, uh, she starts speaking in a man voice. And she goes, punch them. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, I'm sorry, you want me to do what? And she goes, beat the shit out of them. 
I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, finish the story later. Once again, we return. Oh, and before you finish your story, I need to make some announcements. Uh, YouTube now allows us to make videos over 10 minutes. What up? So obviously, we are on our way to making that YouTube monies. I mean, the amount of YouTube money we're gonna make is just gonna be insane. Be it's gonna be like five dollars, and it's just gonna be awesome. Oh, you need to—you should make the CPUs on level ten. How about no? How about yes? And we need to be on a team, and we'll see if we can do it. Wow, you oh, suck. Oh wow. wait, the pit. Wow, you made this, didn't you? No, I didn't. This is one of the beginning levels that starts with. Okay, no. finish your story. Anyway, so um, so I'm here, and she and she says in her man voice, "Punch me," and she's uh, apparently she wants me to punch her massive boobs, and so I do. I uh, I take my fist and I launch it at full velocity right into her boob, and the strangest thing happens. It starts spewing liquid diamonds. I know that doesn't seem like it's possible, because it's not, but. <laughs> it, it happened, and so it's, it ended up to the point where her, her nipple became so massive, I had to crawl into it. What? And so here I am inside this man-woman's boob that spews liquid diamonds, right? And, um, and I, I'm sitting there, and it's just like this world. It's like every, every, every color you can imagine. Like, like, every single building. Just imagine, like, a, a small town, and then every single town there is, like, rainbow. Or every single building in that town. I bo- no. <clears throat> Kirby's gonna- And, um... Uh, man, everyone's in that pot but me. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is, so, I'm there, and I just- Somehow I know I need to go to the Mormon church in the middle. <laughs> Because there's obvious, there's a Rainbow Mormon Church. What? <laughs> you know? And so, I'm in this Rainbow Mormon Church. And there's this man standing there. It's a mysterious man. He has a hood. And as once I get about ten feet behind him, he thrusts his arms outward. And these blades with spinning electricity comes off of them. And he turns around and goes, I've been awaiting your... Arrival, chosen one. And it turns out it's Mr. Anderson. No. And so, I'm like, how do you know me? What does this mean? He goes, you are the chosen one from the Qing Dynasty. You know, of, I've been awaiting your arrival for, for the longest time. You Pretty are the sure. last one of your kind. Pretty sure that Qing was not a dynasty. It is now, motherfucker. Anyway. So, I'm sitting there, I'm like, wait, what, you want to fight me? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to eliminate your existence. So, I thrust my arms outward, and electricity starts flowing from my arms, because, if you guys don't know, I'm pretty much a superhero. And so, we're fighting. I, I spew electricity, and he spews ice. And our elements hit each other in an epic clash of awesomeness. If you don't know what that's like, imagine... Imagine... Imagine Groudon and Kyogre meeting for an epic battle. Anyway, that's pretty much what it was, and so... We're fighting, and we're blown back because of the... The reaction it made. And, um... So, we're fighting, and he stands up and... Walks over to me. And says, Grant, it's time for you to die. And as he's thrusting his katana sword towards my throat... Mila Kunis. Kunis? Uh, Mila Kunz, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Okay, how about the Jessica Alba <laughs> reaches her hands up from the, from the ground, because she's a ground dweller, obviously. I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but her and her husband live a uh, secret life underground called the, uh, the Albacity. That's the Alba Society, pretty much. And, um, basically what happens is she pulls my enemy whose name is Gordoff, into the ground and slaughters him, comes up with his beating heart and says, Grant, eat this heart, for it is the way the destiny must go. And so, I take his heart and bite into it, 
its flesh slowly breaking under my teeth, its blood spewing into my mouth into a delicious, what tastes like ramen but isn't ramen because it's delicious. Anyway, I grow wings and fly away until I am back in my original form and original world, Earth. And that is how my story ends. Oh man, that was just beautiful. Thank you. I feel like that's... That put my short story to shame. It did put your story to shame. Incidentally, this match ended up lasting really long just because this it's like very hard to die on this map. If you know what I mean. That didn't even make sense. No, it didn't.